let me move to the program, uh, move the program along by introducing our most distinguished guest, the Honorable Matia Chowdhury, Minister of Agriculture of Bangladesh. She just told me that the reason she came to this meeting was the fond memory that she has of Dr. Borlock. And uh, the minister is known locally in Bangladesh as Agni Kayana. Agni Kayana, the daughter of fire, is the way that translates. All her life, she's been a dedicated activist for the welfare of her people. And we're very fortunate to have her with us. Ladies and gentlemen, the Honorable Matia Chowdhury. Minister. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen and fellow agriculturist. It's a privilege for me to welcome you to the Borlaug Global Rust Initiative Technical Workshop and to have the opportunity to visit the University of Minnesota during my trip to United States. Perhaps I speak for many of you when I say that I feel like I'm making a kind of pilgrimage in visiting the University of Minnesota with all of you who are so committed to the world food security. We come together to the agricultural and academic birthplace of the ideals of Dr. Normal E. Burlog. And this campus is the birthplace of Green Revolution, a place of great moral and spiritual significance to all of us. Norma Borlaug is our hero. He was a hardworking man who worked tirelessly on behalf of poor people all over the world. Norman Borlaug contributed enormously to global food security, as we do in our culture, in a mind, and in mind when we make a pilgrimage we rededicate ourselves to the ideals that are represented here. The ideals of how to work and the commitment that all people have the right to food and that no child should go to bed hungry. These were normal Burlock's ideals. And from political side, I believe that not only right to food, but access to food and capability to have food, that is also important. Dr. Borlaug visited Bangladesh several times. The rust resistance and dwarfing wheat varieties he developed yielded three to six times higher. It is said that he saved over one billion people in the world. Dr. Normal Borlaug played a pioneering role in introducing wheat in Bangladesh that is suitable for the climate of my country. Many Bangladeshi agriculture scientists who were trained at CIMIT knew him. I myself had the opportunity to meet him and he was passionate about what he did. So many of us were encouraged by the scope of his vision for feeding all the world's people. In Bangladesh, we especially liked Normal Borlaug's spirit because he was not easily deterred by challenges. Even the challenges of feeding a country as populous as Bangladesh. In Bangladesh, we aspire to ensure food security as well as nutritional security for the entire household. For a country like Bangladesh, the challenges are that we have so little land and so many people to feed. I believe very strongly that the only way we can overcome these challenges is by making the most of all kinds of agricultural technologies and innovations. We must take advantage of agriculture research and educate farmers about the new varieties and new ways of doing things. Bangladesh needs to produce more wheat, but not the wheat of our grandfathers. It is the urgent need that we develop new wheat varieties for Bangladesh with increased resistance to wheat rusts, particularly stem and yellow rusts. It is also important that we develop varieties of crops suitable for 
vast areas that are prone to uh, biotic stresses like salinity and drought in Bangladesh and other part of South Asia and temperature tolerant varieties also. Bangladesh scientists needs to engage in a in, in intensive pre-breeding and breeding partnership with BGRI and University of Minnesota, Cornell University, CMIT, the USDA, and all the other partners here for focusing on mitigating the UG99 minus. Our coordinated and collaborative efforts will help ensure that the resources constrained nation of the world have a secure access to food and basic health care. Thank you all. Uh, with these few words, I again pay my, pay my homage to Dr. Norman Burlog, who to whom all of us, all the poor countries are indebted to. Thank you.